Hello everyone. Um, so in today's video, we'll be looking at stringer modeling in FemDesign. Uh, it is actually a remake of an older video that my colleague Dennis did a few years back. Back then it was in Danish and it has uh, since then been requested that we create a similar video in English. This video is available, available at our YouTube channel. You can watch that if you want. Um, we'll use the same example as uh, in the older video. Uh, it is this example here, and uh, we have this example where we know what the forces, the shear forces in our shear panels should be. And so that's why we will use it to verify our result. Um, so we'll start off by opening up design. And for string models in general here in FemDesign, we will use the fictitious shells as our shear panels and the fictitious bars as our stringers. So if we open up the options here for a fictitious shell, we see the stiffness matrix here. And the only thing we care about here is the shear stiffness, which is this value. So all the other values we will just turn down to a really low value. We can't put them to zero, but <clears throat> we can put them as low as one in here. And we have to remain the same relationship as you see there is right now. So if this value is a one, this value would be one, 0 0.5 and one, one, 0 0.5, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. And now we can create the shear panels. And actually, I can just copy this. Like this. So for the stringers, we'll use fictitious bars. And our stringers should only be carrying normal force or actual force, which is uh, this stiffness we will use for that. So the other stiffnesses we can turn down as well. Like this. And we can put on our ringers on each of our panel's edges. So if we look at the example here, we apply a force of P at uh, each of these points here. So for the FEM design model, we have to, we need some supports instead. So let's try to put a support here and here and here, like this. And now we can create a load. Uh, let's create a load case and a load of a thousand kilonewtons here, like this. Okay, so uh, let's try to run the analysis. Let's start off with the reactions. So a thousand and a thousand and a thousand. And that equals up to our example here where we want the same force in each of these uh, points, or which is our supports, supports in this case. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, yeah, we can see the bar internal forces here, the normal force, which is our Stringer forces. Um, here's the maximum and minimum value. Uh, and you can see how the force increase. Like this. And for the shear forces in our panels, we will look at the uh, NXY here. 
let's put a color palette you see it here and if we compare to the known result here sorry like this we see that uh, this value must be double as this value here which is almost correct here and the same goes for the other panels here so basically all of these should should be double value of those in here and that is true in our model as well <clears throat> also we see that uh, since there's no thickness here we, we disregard the t here but the a is the distance here which is two meters in our model and so p divided by two times two so p divided by four that equals up to 250 which is also the value that we see in here so we see it's it is quite simple to create a string model in femdesign and uh, we uh, we also get results that is uh, fitting our um, example here so that was it thanks for watching